Joining us now from Toronto is Max Berger, an immigration lawyer in Toronto. Uh, Mr. Berger, some have suggested that, you know, this is really a story about two-tiered treatment for uh, Canadian citizens, that some who come from certain uh, countries around the world uh, get one kind of treatment and the rest of us get another kind of treatment. Do you agree? Do you see it that way? Well, that uh, may well be the case because we have seen people of color, uh, Muslim uh, individuals who have had these problems in uh, other countries. And the Canadian government has been slow, disgracefully slow, to step forward and um, uh, create a remedy for them. So, I mean, is there any justification if it is, in fact, a situation where some are treated one way and others a, a different way? Or is it justifiable given the kind of fear, the kind of increased scrutiny and security following 9-11? Well, it is obviously not justifiable to discriminate against someone based upon their ethnic origin. Uh, in uh, Suad's uh, case, uh, the issue was uh, over her identity, and um, a protocol needs to be put in place uh, between the Department of Foreign Affairs and Canada Border Services Agency to manage these types of cases uh, better. Um, where uh, the issue is identity fraud or possible identity uh, fraud, unless there is hard evidence or it's obvious that the person is an imposter, it makes much more sense to let the traveler come to Canada and the issue can be resolved much more efficiently and quicker here in uh, Canada. In uh, Suad's case, uh, all that it would have taken was a few hours mm, to interview her uh, son, her ex-husband, her family, friends to confirm her identity. But it, it, would that be enough? Would that solve the problem? Well, it would have solved the problem in uh, Suad's uh, case. But as I say, um, the way these problems are handled by the overseas visa posts is really in a haphazard and inconsistent uh, manner. Uh, we need some sort of a policy or protocol put in place where the type of problems that might be encountered by Canadians overseas can be anticipated and a procedure put in place uh, to mm -hmm. uh, solve these problems. Because right now, or certainly in this case as we know, it can be up to one official who looks at the individual in question and the passport photo and then on that basis alone deems someone to be an imposter, correct? Well, yes, that is uh, correct. And uh, there are many situations, it's not unusual for travelers who are not bona fide to come to Canada with false documents mm -hmm. or even use travel documents belonging to family members who are Canadian citizens. I want to ask you what you think of the Muslim Canadian Congress's demand that the Canadian Vice Council General in Kenya, Ms. Lillian Kadur, I believe is her name, should be let go for this. They say, you know, it's in effect her judgment or her responsibility that this falls under that she should be dealt with. Do you agree? I mean, what's, what are your thoughts there? I do agree. Um, this individual uh, came out with a statement saying that after a thorough investigation by the visa post, it was determined that uh, Suad was an imposter and not the rightful